welcome to Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen. If you are just stopping by for the first time, thank you for clicking on my reading today. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you love it. For those of you that love me already and love these readings, hi guys. Thanks for your beautiful comments, for all of your um, donations and support of the channel. If you love this and you want to watch more, I have playlists. You can watch a lot more content of videos and readings that I have done already. So be sure to check those out. If you're looking for a way to say um, happy holidays, I am definitely happy to receive donations to my channel at this time of year more so than any other. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you for asking. Um, I do have my Venmo linked below. For those of you in the States, you can um, make a donation that way. If you're outside the States, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can um, let the video run, let the commercials run. Um, you can also like, comment, subscribe. All those things really help. Share my video, watch all my content, um, and um, you can book a private reading. Email me. Um, the Gmail address is linked below um, if you'd like a private reading. And if you want to make a donation outside the States, I can send you a PayPal link. Okay, guys. So thank you again to everyone. One. Thanks for being here. Let's look at who you will date next. I thought I would give you three choices. I'm going to use three different decks today. So you're really choosing which deck. Pile number th one, group number one, you have the Rose Quartz Sphere. So take a moment, see if you're drawn to that energy. And the Crystal Visions deck. Group two, you have the fluorite. And the pink rider. Group three, you have the selenite castle. and the rider deck. So as always, get comfy, get cozy, relax. Um, this is probably going to be a long one because I'm really, really um, focusing on doing an in-depth tarot reading today with just a few oracle messages. So um, definitely get comfy. I have my, I think it's called, oh my gosh, I think it's toasted white chocolate latte, something. Oh, mocha latte. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. It's one of the Christmas specials. It is so good. I can't say enough. You guys, if you can get to a Starbucks, try it. <laughs> it's life changing. Okay. One, two, three. The timestamps are below if you want to skip ahead or go ahead and listen to all of the readings today. I'll see you in a minute. One, you picked the rose quartz sphere. I have it on its little holder there so it wouldn't roll away. Let's look at who you will date next. So I'm just going to give these a quick shuffle. I haven't used them in a while, so they kind of made a good shuffle. Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got a lot of Pentacle energy coming through. Okay, so all three of these. We have the Queen of Cups, 
the Page of Swords, the High Priestess, and one more. Ooh, and the Fool, and the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands, beautiful. Okay, guys, let me move this down for you so everything is on, the ca on camera. And can you see that Six of Wands there? Yes, okay. So let me take a look at the overall energy here for you. Okay, number one. So what's really interesting is you're starting with the Ten of Wands and you're at reversed and you're ending with the Six of Wands over here, which really is an indication that of some sort of success. And what I'm really getting is your dream partner is coming. Okay, this is a really positive, positive um, next next boyfriend, next relationship. The person that you date next um, is really somebody who is going to be different from the experiences that you've had. For some of you, what I'm seeing is with this Ten of Wands reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed, that um, there was some sort of imbalance either in your relationships in the past or in the person coming in's relationships. Um, but that is what both of you are kind of coming from this place of not really having equal relationships. One of you was giving a lot and the other one wasn't. Um, um, and what I see with the Knight of Pentacles is that it could have been, um, for some of you, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, male energy, um, who you had this difficulty with, okay? Um, but what's coming forward with this next date, the person you date next, is of someone who really wants commitment, okay? Because we do have the Hierophant, which is really an indication of commitment. Um, and under that is the High Priestess, which means you're going to really have to use and trust your intuition on this person because um, there is a lot of um, kind of blockage over here, whether it's from the past for you or the past from them. I feel like both of you are dealing with some sort of... Um, issues of trust and issues of um, maybe jealousy as well, because we do have the Four of Pentacles up here. But this reading is really saying that this next the person that you date next, um, it's going to be really important to let go and have faith. You have the high priestess right next to the fool, and the fool is all about really taking off and going for it and not worrying and not clinging to the past. I feel like there's a big message here for you in terms of this next um, person and the person that you date next to um, not be afraid. Don't let your fears give in or your jealousy. Maybe you have dated people in the past that weren't you weren't they weren't faithful to you or there were some sort of trust issues um, but you're really getting a message about trusting your intuition going with your gut and being not afraid okay because any kind of like clingy behavior with this person is not going to work um, there's definitely a feeling that there has to be this um this openness, this honesty with this person is so, so important because of this past stuff that I'm seeing for really for both of you, but could be more so that person than you. But um, there is this this sort of feeling of um, of imbalance, of not being able to really express yourself or someone who maybe gave too much or, um, you know, didn't have a partner that shared their burdens, whether it's like just there for you, just listening, just, you know, being emotionally supportive or being like physically supportive, like someone who you're paying it for everything, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, but I do feel it for both of you. Um, and the fact that, um, the high priestess is under the hierophant. There's a very strong, strong, um, like a committed nature to this person. This isn't just like a casual dating situation. This is one that you're going to have to sort of navigate because it does feel like it is, um, really powerful, really passionate. We have a lot of fire. We started with the Ten of Wands, which is really that person not being able to express their fire and their passion. And then we have the Six of Wands as the 
um, card, the last card, and that's really about being, um, you know, being successful, having this dream person. Um, there's a lot of Leo energy coming through, but also Aries Sag as well for this person. Um, but this is somebody who's very, who wants to commit. And I think you're going to have to really go with your intuition on this because um, part of you, I feel like, is not going to want to really show who you are or jump into this relationship. And that's why you're being um, guided to because that's what's really necessary here. Um, but let's get, let's get some more information about that Ten of Wands. Okay, wow, Knight of Wands. Yes, we definitely have Leo, Sag, Aries energy for the next person you're going to date. This person has got lots of fire in them, whether it's rising sign, moon sign, um, but that the energy of this person really wants to be romantic. This is someone who could sweep you off your feet. This is somebody who you really, really connect with on a physical level, too, Um but there's just that past stuff that may be a slight block. And that's why, um, let's just see what happened with that Queen of Cups. Why are you blocked? What is the block for you in terms of this? The Hermit. Ooh, yes. Okay. Um, so... I'm feeling like for some of you, um, you some of you have felt that you were in, in unbalanced situations where you were maybe taken advantage of, and with the Hermit card, it's like you withdrew. You are like maybe I don't want to date. To be honest with you, I want to in theory, but like the reality of getting my heart broken again is really scary. So I kind of just withdrew. Or for some of you, maybe you went through a bad um, breakup or divorce or some sort of separation with this person, and you kind of withdrew from the situation. I do see though, if this is a situation where you have been in a relationship with this person. Um, and you're wondering if you guys can work through it, this is a very positive outcome. So I would say, yes, there is a good possibility you could work through something with an ex or with someone you've dated in the past. Um, both of you sort of withdrew and were hurt. Um, for some of you, you might have been mad that this person took too long. For those of you that have been in a relationship with this person, you thought they took too long and you doubted them and there was some sort of um, jealousy issues or trust issues. Um, but at the heart of it, you both do want commitment. And you have to listen to your gut on this one, because even if all of this stuff happened and part of you is saying, you know what, I feel it. I feel this connection with this person, even though they hurt me or I hurt them, or there seems to be this issues that we have to work through. Um, you are the person that's going to kind of have to go for it. You're the person that's going to have to like take that leap I feel. I feel like you're the one that's going to have to sort of lead the way if you have been in a relationship with this fire sign, this knight of wands person. Um, but there is a success at the end. Um, ooh, okay, so for the knight of pentacles, we have the justice card and the king of swords reversed. Oh my gosh. The King of Swords reversed under the Page of Swords. So yeah, big communication issues um, between the two of you um, if this is someone you dated in the past. But um, justice means it's something positive outcome, just as I said with that Six of Wands. So if you're wondering about um, this X or the potential for this, I would say, yeah, um, justice will... All the things that you wanted to be fair will balance themselves out because justice is all about being fair. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, then I, there's a possibility that this person has um, is going through this 
um, difficulty and this relationship with someone else right now um, and may be in the process of separating or getting a divorce, okay? That's quite possible that this person that is your next date, your next relationship is already in one right now and it, the people, the person that he's having these issues with um, is is not you, is somebody that he's he's in with, he's in a relationship with right now with that justice card that tells me that things will balance themselves out, justice will be served um, in terms of a new relationship this person could still be working on these issues and going through some sort of separation or judgment like um, a divorce, okay? Um, and so maybe you meet this person and they are still sort of entangled in this situation when you meet them. And if that's the case, for those of you that have that issue, um, that's why you're going to have to use your intuition and trust it because you have these strong feelings for this person. You feel like they are going to commit to you, even though all the signals and signs from the past either in yours or theirs or in what's going on right now are telling you otherwise, you believe it in your gut. You say, you know what? I do think that this is going to work out and this is going to be long term. Um, and you just have to let go of those fears of the jealousy of it, any kind of possessiveness. Let's get some more information about... That four of pentacles. Okay, king of cups reversed. Yeah, so this person is extremely intuitive and sensitive. They don't show that right away. So um, part of that possessiveness for them comes from their emotional um, connection and their sensitivity. So it's like a reactionary thing um, that they are just you know, sometimes people are possessive because they care a lot, not because they're narcissists or um, negative. Sometimes they're afraid of losing you. And I think that that's, that's part of it. Um, and you're going to have to kind of work through those issues with this person because um, of their past, of their hurt, of whatever's happened before. Um, but let's find out. Ooh, yes. Okay. The Ten of Swords. So yeah, that person was, this person is really, really hurt um, and it's, it's over. So you don't have to worry about this ex situation or if they are going through a divorce right now, or if this is someone that's in a relationship that they are in the process of removing, removing themselves from, you don't have to worry. It's completely over. It's over, over, over. Do not, um, do not worry about that interfering. It's going to cause a little bit of a delay, but this person is ready to start new. And that's why you have that full energy right underneath, which is the beginning of a new relationship, a new beginning. Um, and for those of you that have been working through issues with someone or you're separated right now, it's definitely going, it's over. All the, those sort of negative issues are over. You're going to have to have faith and begin again and just trust um, but you do have that beautiful Six of Wands energy. So lots of fire. I'm definitely picking up that this next person is uh, fire sign energy. Let's get some more about that Six of Wands. Okay. Ooh. We have the Seven of Cups. And oh, death. Okay, so yeah, um, this person is definitely in the process of going through the end of a relationship, whether um, it's the end of these old behaviors with you and this is like a new beginning for you guys. Um, but I feel like 
they may, for some of you, this person may have um, driven you crazy because they didn't feel committed. You weren't sure. There was some insecurity there. Um, but the universe wants you to know that, yes, this person is is interested in a long-term relationship. You must listen to your intuition. They're just going through something that they need to process, okay? And in order for you guys to really work through everything, they have to really let go of a lot. So whether they do or not, that's on them. But for the for those of you that haven't met this person yet, they definitely are going through an ending. And I think it's probably the end of a pretty serious relationship, um, maybe even a divorce, okay? Um, now, let's get some more information about your next date. Okay, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive romantically. Wow, that's really amazing because there's all of this, um, you know, this kind of protective stuff going on, um, but also this wanting things to be balanced. That Ten of Wands really wants um, an equal partnership. That Queen of Cups reversed um, is really talking about, um, you know, Things someone may be taking advantage of you. Um, and with the King of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed, we could be talking about a divine connection. Um, and sometimes those are really, really tough because um, you have all of the makings of this relationship, but you kind of have to like work through more bumps to be together. Um, you know, if it's a twin flame situation, a lot of times you have to um, you have a lot to clear in order to be together. It's not necessarily like, oh, I found my missing puzzle piece and you go together. But because you got both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I do feel this very strong divine connection, possibly twin flame. Um, but for both of you, you really have to be focused on loving yourself first and being really strong, okay? Um, with that high priestess card that's such a strong person that's so confident in their ability to um use both the mind and the heart okay um and with that fool card it's like you know just going for it just trusting you know um but let's see the next date who will you date Next, who will you date next? Number one. Wow, okay, we've got these two. Oh, look at this, okay, perfect. Um, so you love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, taking all the lessons from whatever past situations where you weren't being valued or you weren't, it wasn't an equal or fair relationship. You then have separation. Take time apart from your partners on the horizon. Um, that could be the separation of the soulmate energy or twin flame energy. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, this next date the person you date next um, has this very strong connection to you I do feel there could be a past life connection this is a potential soulmate or twin flame you could be in a separation now because they are in a relationship with someone else um, they have to work through that I do see an ending to that relationship in order to clear the way for both of you um, and for some of you that have met already and dated this person or have been in a relationship before, um, you are in this separation because you need to clear out your energy, get strong on your own, that hermit card retreat, getting yourself strong um, and having that new beginning and being able to take that leap with the fool card, being able to, to go on the adventure and know that you can do it. Um, so, wow, those are unbelievable messages. Let's see what else we get. Your next date. Who is your next date? Number one. 
Okay, you have Paris. Aphrodite's hero, winner, prize, ring on blast, number 39, you will win the prize. Um, so that also can indicate that um, competition or that being someone else involved, either a past thing, as I said, that's ending, someone that they're in a relationship with now. There's a lot of clearing out, but ultimately with that six of wands energy and the Paris card coming through, it's you will you will get what you want in terms of this relationship it's really up to you i'm feeling like you hold the cards you're kind of the person that is going to determine whether you guys move forward or not okay who will you date next wow you've got three came out all together um you have betrayal Okay, bonds broken, trust issues, cheating, heartbreak, number 23, someone is not being honest. Now, that can apply to the person that's in this relationship right now, the person they're with. This, um, that's where that four of pentacles energy, that trust, which is why I said you need to watch out for that and to not let that overtake your confidence um, because you did get the fool underneath it, which is telling you, go for it, have faith. The high priestess, listen to your gut. Um, don't give in to those four of pentacles holding on jealousy and fears, okay? Um, that could be for you or that could be for this person coming in. You also have Harmonia, Aphrodite's daughter, wedding, harmony, elope, excitement, number 21. This relationship is serious. That's exactly what we thought with the soulmate card coming through with the king and queen of cups reversed. It's an emotionally deep connection that has been through some problems, either in the past life or if you've dated this person already, you know, in this life. Um, so there, it's not an easy road with this person, but it is a significant connection. Okay. And you have roses, Aphrodite's flower, devotion, true love, affection, safety. Number nine, this love is a gift. Oh, beautiful. You guys, the next person you date is, um, you really have the potential to move forward with them for a long-term commitment. We did get the, um, Hierophant, which is that indication of a long-term commitment of potential marriage. We have the wedding card and harmony, elopement, excitement. This relationship is serious. And it does feel like a gift because um, you have the king and queen of cups. They're reversed, which is like you guys are not there yet, either because of circumstances outside your control. They're in another relationship. Maybe you are. Um, where you had, you know, trust issues, you had um, something that you have to work through and with the hermit card withdraw from. But I do see with that six of wands being the last card here that um, there is success potential for you guys, okay? Um, and this is going to be a fiery and passionate relationship one way or the other. The person you date next is definitely has some very important lessons for you, has some important, um, it's just like an important part of your love journey. Okay. Hey, okay, I'm going to roll the astro dice. Let's see what other signs come up besides Leo, Sag, Aries for you and this relationship. Okay. We have Aries. <laughs> so that's confirmation. And we have cancer. There's the king of cups energy. And Cancer again. So the King of Cups is very strong and that Cancer water sign energy for you or for the person because you also got Queen of Cups. Um, okay, now let's get you some initials, potential names, words. Okay, we had quite a few all come out at once. We have G, M, K, S, P, F, Z, V, H, B, F, and I. Okay, so take a moment, see if any of those click for you. Could be your initials, their initials, um, first name, last name, a place. Um, 
those are your messages today about who you're going to date next. I had such a good time doing this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, um, you can check out my playlist to watch other videos and readings that I've done. Um, you can click the notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. Like, comment, subscribe. Please do all of those great free things. They really, really help me and my channel. I'm sending you so much love, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Number two, you picked the um, fluorite, the green fluorite, and the pink rider. So we are going to look at who you will date next. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Five of Wands. Who will you date next? Number two, who will you date next? These are fairly new cards, so they're still kind of a struggle. They're not really broken in. Ooh, a whole bunch wanted to come out. Um, I think, let's see, that one's first, then that one. Okay. So we had the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Swords, and Justice. Okay. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Number two, who will you date? The Hermit. Who will you date? Number two, who will you date? Six of Wands reversed, and we've got two, beautiful, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles under the Justice card. Oh, I love that. I think I'm going to have to move these down again. Let me move these down. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, so let's take a moment and straighten them out. And let me get the overall feeling for you for your reading today about who you're going to date next. So um, we are starting with the Five of Wands and underneath it we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, um, what I'm seeing about this person is that this is somebody who doesn't like competition. This is somebody who sits back and sort of likes to watch and wait, you know, this is not somebody that's going to like jump into a relationship. This is someone who really takes their time. Okay. So they're coming through as a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth sign energy. Um, what's really a big deal is we have the wheel of fortune right here, um, upright. And the wheel of fortune is really telling me that there is a big change of, um, something really positive coming in terms of this next person that you date, um, either for them or for you or for both of you because you, you find one another. But um, this Wheel of Fortune Upright is really about um, something major coming to um, a, a, a new, like, a new shift, a new cycle is beginning. The Wheel of Fortune is moving ahead. And um, underneath it with the Hermit there, I feel like there has been some sort of a period for both of you, maybe, of being withdrawn, being not out in the dating world or not wanting to compete. Maybe um, you or this person both have kind of like withdrawn a little bit, not wanting to be like part of being tired of the like, the kind of the little stuff, the five of wands is really not like major arguments, but it's kind of like that, that stuff that you just can't stand the petty stuff. And I feel like you and that both of you really, um, are not interested in that. You're not interested in, um, anything that is like short term and, um, kind of a waste of time that's what's coming through like I'm tired of wasting my time that's that's the message that came through um for this reading just now and um with that wheel of fortune it's like listen you have done 
the work. You have gotten to know who you are either because you've been alone for so long or because you've taken time away to kind of get to know yourself. Um, but I do see this energy coming in for you that is... Um, is very balanced with the Justice card. Um, a lot of Libra energy and a lot of Pentacles, a lot of really solid, solid um, Earth sign energy. Also, this person could be connected to work for some of you. Um, for some of you, this person could be a lawyer or working in a law firm or connected to something legal. Um, they also could recently or... Um, in the near future, be going through a separation or a divorce, because we do have the justice card, but I do feel like justice will be served. So it's like um, whatever sort of imbalances or things that were unfair for you and for them in relationship is changing for the better, okay? There is a possibility um, because of this two of swords with the six of wands reversed that this could be someone that you may have overlooked or in the past or may be overlooking right now um, because we have that kind of that behind the scenes pentacle energy that hermit someone who's maybe a little shy or reserved somebody who doesn't come charging in um there might be someone that you're overlooking. Um, your focus might be on someone else right now. Um, but that's what that like wheel of fortune is, that the person's um, energy is shifting. Um, and I feel like if you've been confused um, about a person and someone that you like, someone that you maybe haven't dated, but you're like, does this person into me? Like, he's really quiet and reserved, doesn't really, you know, go for it, doesn't really let me know. I feel like that's going to change, but this is like a slow start. We have that pentacle energy, which is slow. We have that five of wands reverse, not wanting to compete, the hermit, um, that six of wands reverse. This is a, an, an introverted person, I'm feeling, um, but they do come into their own, um, and they may even um, they may even start their own business or be connected, like I said to you, through work. Um, there may be some sort of a conflict with them, with their family. It could also be this person could be like inheriting money or was supposed to and didn't, but they end up getting it any, you know, justice is served. They end up getting what they deserve. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's got so much potential, but a lot of times people don't see it right away. That's what's coming through. But let's get more information about what's the story with that five of wands. Okay, yeah, the Four of Pentacles reversed. This person definitely had um, some sort of trust issues, and it definitely is connected to this Pentacle energy. There's so much of the Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles reversed, the Ten, the Ace. Um, there's definitely been some sort of um, this person either being taken advantage of financially, not being appreciated um, for who they are. There, there's something that keeps this person not feeling as great as they really are. Um, and I feel like it could have been a past relationship, but it also can be sort of like I'm getting a feeling it could be the family dynamic for this person is not great. Um, but let's get some more info about that Knight of Pentacles, please. What's the story with the Knight of Pentacles? Okay. Um, so the, we got the Seven of Cups and it was reversed for the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Like this person was um, confused about what they wanted in love with that seven of cups reversed and so it it definitely made it made it hard for you or it will make it hard for you initially to really um, to know that they're super interested because they're they're not really clear you know with that seven of cups reversed it's like I feel like this person is so um, kind of keep stuff to themselves so much that you you can't really read them. You know someone that's hard to read. Um, but let's get more about 
what is happening with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is really about um, having a big barrier around you, um, putting these all these wands and doing all this work and being kind of exhausted. So I do feel like that um, this person has worked really hard and I feel like their focus has really been work and not relationship. Um, and I do get a very strong feeling for a lot of you that you work together with this person. Okay, what's the story with the hermit, please? Okay, wow, we got a ton, but I think it's just the Page of Pentacles, the top card. Um, wow, I mean, we are getting so much confirmation about um, this person being a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or being connected to work. Um, this person is definitely very sincere and could be slightly younger than you, but I do feel like they're very sincere. I do think there's a good chance you'll work together. Um, or they could be, as I said, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. They are definitely someone who kind of confuses people at first because they keep a lot of their feelings to themselves. Sometimes they're overlooked when it comes to love because they're not the person that's grabbing attention all the time. Um, but they're very steady. They're very committed once they are committed. Um, and I think, let's find out... What happens with this Ace of Swords reversed? What happened with the Ace of Swords? Tell you what, it takes a while for this <laughs> for this to get clear. This person is gonna really confuse you a little bit. I'm sorry to say, um, but let's find out. But there is all this positive with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This is a gift. This is um, something that you're gonna value. This person is someone you're gonna value. They're gonna be very fair. They're just gonna take their time and confuse you a little bit at first. I'm definitely getting that. But let's find out what happens with the Ace of Swords. What's going on with the Ace of Swords? Why is it taking so long to find out? It's really interesting. Oh my gosh, beautiful. You get the Four of Wands. Um, so yeah, this is a very positive. Um, this next person that you're gonna date um, might confuse you at first. They are very sincere. They may be overlooked by their family, by people at work or you. Maybe you just haven't um, given them that chance. Um, but I do see you give, I see them as someone who is going to um, bring you a lot of good fortune and good um, solid, like, uh, I feel like this is someone who's also going to probably like their love language is um, gift giving and they are going to want to like take you out for nice meals. There's lots of this pinnacle energy around this person. The final outcome is the four of wands. So that's, that's like commitment. That's a celebration. That's a wedding. That's a party. Um, I do think you, you will find clarity. Um, you may find clarity within four, four months, four weeks. Um, I don't think it'll be four years, you guys. It feels more like months after you meet. Um, but there is this potential for long-term, very solid, very committed, because fours are very solid um, energy, plus you have all of this pinnacle energy. So I think there's that initial confusion or their initial not recognizing that this person has all of these great qualities because they keep so much to themselves. But ultimately, you're going to be really happy with this person and probably go... You may even take them to a wedding, or you may actually have a wedding yourself. Um, but there's definitely some sort of celebration in the future for you guys, which is beautiful. Okay, let's roll the Astro Dice and see what other signs besides Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are coming through. 
Capricorn. Okay, so I, we want, I guess there the Capricorn it is. We got it. Okay, we have Cancer. And we have Pisces energy. Okay, that would definitely be that Seven of Cups, that confusing part or um, that non-aggressive part. I can definitely pick up on Pisces energy for this person. Um, let's get Oracle messages for you. Who will you date next? Number two. Who will you date? Okay, you got it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Wow, that's really beautiful. And that's definitely um, the message for the other person as well because they definitely ha are protecting themselves um, with that nine of wands energy for sure. Okay, who will you date? Okay, wow, you've got these two. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Um, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, um, this is a karmic relationship. This is a cycle. I know divine timing sometimes drives people crazy, but this definitely feels like it moves slower than you'd like. You may have been waiting for this relationship for a while, but I think that the wait will be worth it. You're going to be initially maybe confused by this person and not be sure how solid and how committed they are, but just stay optimistic and positive because there is this gift um, coming. And I do think it could be through work um, that you guys have this connection um, because you do have that pinnacle, ace of pentacle energy. Um, so I do feel like this for most of you is a new relationship. Okay, I do. Let's do one more. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we got three it came out. You have honey, Aphrodite's nectar, sweetness, innocent, natural childhood, number 16. This person brings you joy. That definitely gives um, connects with that page of pentacles energy because the pages are always young. And, and even if they're not young in age, they're young in heart. There's something innocent about this person. There's something very sweet. There's something that you're going to have to be patient with. Um, because it's it's like the honey is it's worth getting to but it's going to take a little bit do you know what I mean that's what I'm getting here um, okay we have scallop shell Aphrodite's shell memories vacation treasure romance number eight you are valued I love that word valued this person definitely will value you there is so much about values with the pentacle energy um, and all of this is very positive all of the pentacle energy that came through for this person shows this commitment, this honesty and integrity. Okay. And we have oysters, Aphrodite's potion, aphrodisiac, pleasure, desire, sexy number 15. There is powerful chemistry. So it's not just like, oh gosh, this person is boring. They're so, they're so slow. They're taking so long. It's like, no, this is powerful chemistry. Okay, guys. So um, the universe is telling you that your luck is going to change with this person and they probably are going to have a major shift themselves. Um, it's kind of like the frog you kiss and turns into a prince kind of thing where it's like I'm thinking of Beauty and the Beast and it's I know that's a weird thing but it just popped in where she loves him for his heart and then he turns into be not only inside beautiful but outside beautiful and inside is obviously always more important but we you know we want to be attracted to someone and this feels like both this feels like someone who is that kind of person that it might be confusing at first kind of like Beauty and the Beast um, but inside is this person that is really really beautiful energy for you okay so i'm really excited i love this um okay let's get some initials for you some letters this can be you them a place I 
see if like something else wants to come out. Did it come? No. Still something else. There it is. Okay. Um, you have V, F, G, G, X, H. Oh, and I meant to say there could be that childhood connection. Not necessarily that you've been together before, but that also connects back to someone you may have overlooked, okay? So I'm definitely feeling that, like, person that gets overlooked vibe for this. Okay, um, so we have S-G-I-Z, okay? So um, those might be something significant for you. You can pause the video, see what you come up with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I so enjoyed doing a reading today. Please leave all your comments below. Let me know how you're connecting. If you know who this person is, I'd love to hear it. Um, and also, please watch other videos of mine. Check out my playlists, um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All those good things really, really help. Um, I have so much good, I have so much good content coming. I am sending you so much love. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and um, I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Hey, number three, you picked the Selenite Castle and the Rider deck. So we are going to look at who you will date next, your next relationship. And I think I'm going to give these a really good Number three, who will you date? Number three. Ooh, okay, starting with the world. Ace of Swords, who will you date? Number three. Oops, excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, so that wanted to come underneath there, so we're gonna leave the devil where he is. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords under the Ace of Swords. We already have the Devil, but let's get confirmation on the Devil. King of Swords, a lot of sword energy, Air Sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini coming through. And finally, Who will you date? Number three, who will you date? Okay, so we have the nine of wands under the three of wands and the bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles. Let's get you organized and let me get an overall vibe. Who will you date? Number three. Okay, now, with the world card here, which is really a beautiful way to start the reading, because this is a sense of accomplishment, the world is like when you've reached some sort of pinnacle, or you're just feeling confident and comfortable in relationship, 
um, and you have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So what I'm really getting is for a lot of you, this next person is someone who believes uh, that they missed the opportunity with you, okay? Because they are feeling very confident and whole now, and maybe in, when you knew each other or in the past when you dated or if you had a chance to be together, they feel like they blew it, okay? So this can be... Um, something that happened recent, you know, not recently, but in this lifetime, okay? This can be someone you dated or you may have um, had an, they may perceive that they had an opportunity with you, um, whether or not they did or not, I don't know, but they, that's the perception of that. Um, there was something that they missed an opportunity, okay? So for some of you, I'm getting the sense that this could be someone coming back, who feels they blew it, okay, and they weren't in the space that they are in now. Now they've reached a sense of accomplishment. Now they have earned whatever money or title or job that they feel really confident in themselves. Um, there is this um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and... Um, wait, fixed signs. <laughs> Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. What am I missing? Okay. Leo, Taurus, oh, Aquarius. Okay, that's it. Um, so those signs are coming through. But there is definitely this feeling that this person is on top of the world right now. They're in a very, very positive position and they feel very comfortable about love, okay? They have gotten very clear. The Ace of Swords is all about getting very clear. Um, and maybe in the past they listened to gossip or they listened to their friends or there were little like buzzing bees around them or little flies around them giving them little information um, that maybe messed up their chances with you. Okay, um, but I do feel like they have matured. They are feeling very clear, very confident. They have definitely worked through some issues, okay, with that devil card and that eight of pentacles. It's like working hard um, and, and getting clear about things. There's lots of energy with this air sign energy, this king. Um, we have the ace of swords. We have the king of swords and the page of swords. So it could be that Aquarius energy that's coming through with the world. We could be talking about an Aquarius person. Um, but this is just someone who is very clear and very direct. They know what they want. And I do believe that they felt that they missed a chance with you. Okay, now, whether it's just they feel they've missed the chance for love because they screwed up in the past um, and now they're ready, or whether they actually, for some of you, missed the chance and now they're getting a second chance, okay, because they are planning. Here we have the Three of Wands. This person is definitely making plans. Um, this person is... Um, you know, maybe in the past they were very defensive. Uh, maybe they put a wall around themselves or their heart. They just definitely am getting so much energy here, you guys, that this person feels they messed up, okay? Um, and they really, really value you, okay? They see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as someone who is is such a, a like a prize, is like this person that they just adore this solid solid person um who's who's just like someone they really value so um this is virgo taurus capricorn energy but just in general um they just see you as this beautiful strong very solid very reliable person and because the Ace of Pentacles here was reversed, and now the Queen of Pentacles was our final sign. That's why I feel like they think they blew it. They had a chance with you. You're like this beautiful coin. You're something they value, something they really want, um, something they think is beautiful, something that they desire. Um, and maybe before they didn't think they were good enough for you. Maybe before they, like I said, maybe they did stupid things or said stupid things or acted immaturely. Um, but now they're more mature. Now they're the king. Now they've worked through some of their demons. They've really worked hard to get where they are, and they're making a plan. They could live um, far away from you. They could have to travel to see you. This could be someone that lives, you know, maybe they moved away. 
and now they're coming back to where you live, or maybe you moved away and now they're coming back, or if you haven't met before, they live far away and they're planning um, a trip, or you could need on a trip for some of you. But there's some sort of travel involved for you with this person. Okay, ooh, this one is exciting. I love it, because I love that we're starting with the world. This person's coming from a place of strength and love. In terms of love and you and this relationship, they're coming back to you or coming to you with that strength of the world. They're about, you know, they could, for some of them, they could be celebrating something. Let's see what we get about the world. will you date next what is going on with the world card and this person Ooh, look at that nine of pentacles my gosh they really, really think that you are a prize. You are someone who is really solid, somebody who they value. Um, and that they have also, it's definitely with the pinnacle energy here and the pinnacle energy here, that they have achieved some sort of financial state that they weren't in before. Or um, even if you haven't dated in the past, this person wasn't in a position they felt um, not great about themselves. And now they feel really secure because they've really achieved something. Um, you know, whether it's what, you know, they have a beautiful home, a good job. This person definitely is secure financially. Okay. Let's find out about, oh, look at this. Um, the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So they've really thought a lot about this. They've thought a lot about, um, about finding love. They've, they've worked hard to get where they are. Um, they definitely had setbacks in their life and um, they took time out of love, time away from love. Um, they may have even had some sort of like physical thing that they, for some of them, are recovered from recently. Um, but they definitely have given this a lot of thought and it's something that's really important to them. What is this Page of Swords energy that was around the King of Swords? Okay, so they didn't do a good job. Of juggling whether it was between friends maybe it was um, work and family there was definitely something that was pulling on them and that was that's what they had to get clear about they had to get clear about what their priorities were um, lots of pinnacle energy their priority is really about getting stable financially maybe they weren't stable before like I said and they have worked really hard and they're about to accomplish or just recently you know achieve something that made them feel really good okay Okay, so the Queen of Wands reversed is what we're getting here with this Devil card. Um, so I think that their focus before was all physical, okay? Um, and they weren't giving emotional depth to relationships. Um, there was a sense that either they were in a relationship with a fire sign that didn't work, um, or you are that person and they didn't honor you in the way that they should have, okay? Um, and so they were just cold and they had a lot of issues that they had to work through um, to focus on being more emotionally connected. Let's find out about their journey. The Three of Wands, how are they gonna get to you? What's going on with the Three of Wands? Okay. What is going on with their journey? And that Three of Wands, how are they going to get to you? Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of um, Wands. So there are a lot of queens in here. <laughs> So what I think is that um, 
with the Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Swords energy, um, that this person may connect with you through a friend or through an older female who's a air sign, which would be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or um, this is you. Um, this is about communication. This is about telling the truth and speaking up. And I feel like there's something that has to be said. Um, and, and, you know, it could be coming from um, this female air sign that's going to be someone that is going to help you. Um, I feel like they could have like an older sibling or a friend or someone that's going to help them um, kind of like make their case. You know how sometimes a friend intercedes and says, listen, because I feel like they're looking at each other and they're talking. And she's like, listen, he's really changed. <laughs> or this is a really good guy. So there could be a friend, a sibling, or a family member who's female that connects you. Okay. what else we get about that queen of swords and the queen of pentacles please yeah so it's about letting go and learning from the past and saying that this person has learned their lessons they have come to a different place and um and they're, they, this is someone who's definitely learned and becoming more emotional. I do feel like there was emotion lacking before, and now this person is definitely um, much more emotional. If they are someone that you've dated in the past, then you're going to see that this person has really changed. And um, if they blew it in the past, because I feel more like you didn't date, and or they you know went out on a date or two, and it was like, they blew you off or they ghosted you or something and you're like, wow, I thought there was a real connection um, and they didn't treat you well and they had to work on their own stuff. And if it's someone you haven't met yet, um, this person has gone through relationship stuff like so many people have and maybe they were kind of a dog and now they're not. They've gotten really clear about what they want. Um, they've reached a lot of success. They're feeling more secure. They worked on their demons and they value you. So being valued is the most important thing, and I do see that here. Okay, guys, so now let's get some oracle messages. Who will you date? Number three. Who will you date? very soon clearly decide what you want so that, that it comes to you now um, with that ace of swords it definitely is going to be fast moving energy who will you date guys and you have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yes there's lots of passion between you um and part of it could be if this is someone that you did date before and we have that devil card is that that was part of that was definitely a positive but the other stuff was lacking and now this person has worked really hard and is planning to come back um and for people that you haven't met yet, um, this is definitely a passion connection, okay? Who will you date? Number three. There it is. 
Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so um, staying optimistic, staying positive. Um, you do have that beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. This is definitely a relationship where the person values you. Um, I feel like this is someone who feels they blew it and missed their chance, has given it a lot of thought, has taken the time to do the work, um, and is very, very attracted to you. Um, and so I think that if you are worrying about uh, a relationship or if this is someone that you are aware of, you're definitely getting a message to stay positive, okay? Because I feel like this person is doing a lot of work. Okay, who will you date? Number three, who will you date? Thought that was gonna jump out and it didn't. Who are you going to date? Number three. Okay. How many do we have? Oh, okay. So we have three. Perfect. Um, we have the magic belt, which is Aphrodite's power, strength, attraction, powerful, sexy. Number six, you are irresistible to them. Well, I totally believe that because um, we have that nine of pentacles energy with that world card with the pentacle underneath feeling that this person blew something blew the chance is very attracted to you you have the passion card um they view you as the queen of pentacles they also have a lot of respect for you um you do have chocolate aphrodite's food rich indulgent fantasy number 26 your love life is getting an upgrade wow um so this relationship is going to you know this can also be for those of you that have um that have broken up that did date um this could be that taking it to the next level and taking it to the next step um the rich part and indulgent with all of this pentacle energy and that nine of pentacles this person definitely feels wealthy they feel like they have a lot of financial stability and security um, and we have jealousy, Aphrodite's nemesis, envy, insecure, control, gossip, number 18, beware of jealousy and control issues, which is so right on target because we had this page of swords and I felt like there were people around this person who may have given in to sort of like gossip and um, listening to things that were not productive, okay? We do have a lot of queens in the reading, so that can sometimes indicate more than like other women around that could um, potentially really like this person or be jealous of you because of this relationship. Um, that could have been part of the block before and this person has realized they blew it. And so that's something that I think is a warning for you to just be aware of that potential for some of you um, of other women being around, other jealous exes, other jealous people. Um, so just keep that um, in mind, but don't give in to it because this person definitely values you, okay? So let's roll the astro dice, see what other signs come up for this person besides um, all those that we mentioned. Okay, we have Aquarius, which we talked about with the King of Swords and the World card. So that is confirmation for that very strong Aquarian energy. We have Capricorn, lots of pentacles, lots of, could be someone that owns their own business, somebody who's a head of a company, that really ambitious, hardworking Capricorn energy, also meeting through work. And Taurus, see, all pentacle and Aquarius. So, and also Taurus is one of the signs that was on the world card, which is how we started. Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo energy. Okay, so that is all confirmation, you guys. Now, I'm going to pull you some letters, and let's see, this could be your initials, theirs. Let's see what messages we get in letters about this next person you date. Number three. You have C, K, D, I, F, H, E, P, L, 
A P P A L pal could be friend P C S N and H Okay, so you can take a moment, pause the video. Um, those are some letters for you. And I, that's the, that, those are your messages today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this definitely gave me the feeling of someone who feels that they blew it. Now, whether you were aware of them or not, that's going to depend. But I definitely get the feeling that this person either realizes they messed up and wants to come back or wants to try or wants to give it a shot um, or just in general with relationships was immature, wasn't clear, wasn't direct and has now done a lot of work um, with that devil card and is going to be much more direct and much more clear. And they are coming from that beautiful world card position of being strong, of feeling really powerful powerful and feeling confident, um, which is always you have to come into relationships whole. They can't fill you. Um, and I feel like that's what this person went through. They weren't whole and now they are. Okay, guys, so that's your messages. Those are your messages about who you will date next, your next relationship. Please leave all your comments below. Let me know how you connect with all of this energy. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of that really helps. If you want to make a donation, I would so, so appreciate it. Um, I have my Venmo link below. If you're outside the United States, I can always send you a PayPal link for donations. Um, my email address is linked below if you want a private reading. I thank you all for all of your beautiful energy. Thanks for being part of Love Goddess Tarot, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.